Starting over. Tommaso looked out over the ship's railing, trying to catch a glimpse of the city that would be his new home. After two weeks at sea, he and his parents had finally reached America. During the voyage, everyone was talking about what happened last month. The Titanic, which was supposed to be an unsinkable ship, had hit an iceberg and gone down. Luckily, the ship Tommaso and his family were traveling on had made the voyage successfully. Tommaso and his parents were coming to America in search of opportunity. His aunt and uncle had immigrated to America from Italy two years earlier and opened a successful market. Soon, Tommaso and his parents would join them in New York City. Tommaso was excited about his new home, especially because he would see his cousin Paolo. But he was scared too. He didn't speak English, he was already homesick for his village, and he missed the field where he and Paolo used to play You Can't Catch Me, a game they had invented. Tommaso wondered about Paolo. Did he speak English? Where and what did he play now? As his family made their way through the city, Tommaso marveled at how busy and loud New York was. Noisy motor cars rattled up and down every block. Horse drawn carriages clattered and bounced over the cobblestone streets, and men called out as they peddled food from large carts. It was like nothing he had ever experienced. Finally, They arrived at their new home. Paolo and his family were waiting for them. Hello! Paolo greeted him, and Tommaso's jaw dropped. Paolo was speaking English. Come with me, Paolo laughed, switching to Italian. He led Tommaso down the street to a park. I know how you feel, said Paolo, because I felt the same way when I first arrived. You think you'll never fit in here, but you will. When I feel homesick, I come to this park. Later, I'll start teaching you English, but right now, you can't catch me. Tommaso grinned and began chasing Paolo. America was already starting to feel like home.